go to file menu and create a new file. The size of the file is 1280 pixels wide and 720 pixels high with 72 dpi. I have created a special background for this font. You can find the download link for the background in the description. Now, click the text button and make the font size 477. The font I am using is Cornic. You can also download it with the link in the description. Make sure the text you are writing is in capital letters. Now, select the layer and make its fill to zero. Then go to the bottom and click the function button. Now, select the bevel and emboss. A new menu will pop up. Go to the depth slider and slide it to 750. Size, 4 pixels. Soften, 10 pixels. Then go to the highlight mode menu and select overlay. Make its opacity 100%. Click the Shadow Mode menu and select Hard Light. Make its opacity 20%. Then go to the left menu and select the Texture tab. Click the Pattern button and choose the Legacy Patterns from its settings. Then select the Bubbles pattern. Make its Scale to 445% and depth to plus 167 percent now click inner glow effect on the left menu go to its opacity and make it 65 percent click the color box choose the color cyan and make it 100 percent select the source center choke 10 percent and size 45 pixels then click the contour and choose the option cone inverted make its range 100 percent now select the satin on the left menu click the color box and select cyan to 100 percent and leave the other colors to zero percent Choose the Blend Mode to Screen. Make Opacity to 35%. Distance 30 pixels. And Size 5 pixels. Tick the Gradient Overlay option on. On the left menu, select the Blend Mode Luminosity from the list. Make its Opacity 25%. Click the gradient drop-down menu and choose black and white box. Click the pattern overlay on the left menu now. Go to the blend mode and choose luminosity from the list. Slide its scale up to 240%. Click on the stroke on the left panel and make its size to 5 pixels. Position inside blend mode linear dodge its opacity 35%. Fill Type, Pattern, select Bubble Pattern from its options. Set its scale to 1000% and then click OK button. Now, go to the text layer we created. Duplicate it by dragging it to create a new layer icon or press Ctrl J as short key. Now, on the duplicate text layer, you can hide all effects by clicking the eye symbol, except for Bevel and Emboss. Then double click on Bevel and Emboss to open its settings. Go to Shadow Mode Opacity here and slide it to zero. Click Texture on the left panel under the Bevel and Emboss effect. Make its scale to 365%. Depth plus 215 and then click OK. Now, create a new empty layer by clicking the New Layer button. The new layer should be above of all layers. Select the Brush tool, and right-click on the image to select a brush style. 
Now select any brush from the set of dry media brushes. Then go to the window menu and click on brush settings to modify the brush for creating a snow effect. Click on the brush settings. Then click on the dynamic shapes. Move the size jitter slider to 100%. Move the angle jitter slider also to 100%. Then click on the scattering and move scatter slider little less of its half. Click OK and go to the main screen. Reset the colors by clicking D on the keyboard and swap white color to the front by clicking X. Now keep the brush size tiny and flow about 30%. Start painting with the brush. Keep the brush strokes on the upper edges of the font. So it looks like the snow has fallen on the font from upper side and covered it on the all upward areas. Snow paint is complete. Let's make a new empty layer and hide the background layers by clicking the eye symbols on the layers. Press Alt Control Shift E simultaneously to duplicate the all visible layers to this empty layer. Then make the background layer visible. Press Control T on duplicate layer. Right click on the mouse and flip the layer vertical. Then move it down to the bottom edge of the text. Now select the blending mode of this layer, multiply, and make its opacity to 50%. Then select the gradient tool, and add a layer mask to this layer. Select black and white gradient, and apply it to the mask by dragging it on screen. It will create the text reflection. We can try different blending modes and opacity settings to make the reflection look more real. It looks good on luminosity mode and 68% opacity. Now it's time to add final effect, a snow overlay. You can download it from the link in the description. Just drag the overlay image to the top of the all layers, and then make its blending mode to screen. Just check it out, our ice text effect is ready. For more rare tips and tutorials of Photoshop, stay connected to our channel. Bye.